Hey y'all, welcome back to Mimi's Sexist Kitchen. Today is Easy Cake Saturday again, and we're gonna make a homemade strawberry cake with strawberry icing. So the things you're gonna need for this cake are a yellow cake mix, I prefer Duncan Hines. You need one package of um, strawberry gelatin. You need three fourths of a cup of uh, frozen sweetened strawberries in the juice and you need a half of a cup of oil and two thirds a cup of water and four eggs. That's for the actual cake mix itself. I have already prepared my um, nine inch round pans with uh, my shortening and my flour and I've preheated my oven. It's preheating right now to 350 degrees. So we're gonna do this and then I'll show you how to make the homemade frosting to go on it. So you put your yellow cake mix in your bowl. Add your strawberry gelatin. Add your eggs. Four eggs. Three-fourths cup of strawberries I put in. And two-thirds cup of water. And then mix it all together. texture to know when I'm ready. All right, so my beater's out of there. Don't sit, don't sit. Okay. Now, I'm gonna pour them into my prepared pan and as you can hear, my oven just went off telling me it's done preheating. So, just pour a little bit in each pan. This is going to be a double layer cake, so it'll have frosting on the outside and frosting in the middle. Strawberry frosting. And I like to get them as even as I can. And then I kind of look at them when they're cooling and see which one's bigger and I make that my bottom cake. Alright, that's done. Now, we stick them in here, oven at 350, in the middle rack, and bake them for 25 minutes, approximately. And whenever you insert a toothpick in the middle and it comes out clean, then they're done. And they usually do take about 25 minutes and not much longer than that. Um, in the meantime, I'll go ahead and make my icing. My frosting that goes on here. So, I'm gonna get up my vanilla. All right. So for this one, get us a good bowl. So 
for your icing for this cake, you need one stick of butter. You're gonna need a little bit of your strawberries with juice, a teaspoon of vanilla, and a box of powdered sugar, or I'm using a half of a package of the double uh, 32 ounce. So it'll be 16 ounces. Beat your butter. I've already been letting it sit out for a while to get soft. So now I'm just gonna beat it until it's kind of like creamy. Like so. powdered sugar I can get more out but for now we're just gonna go with this remember that's a half of a package so it's 16 ounces of powdered sugar and now I'm gonna put one teaspoon of vanilla in to mix it together And you start out with just a little bit of your strawberry, probably a tablespoon, two tablespoons. You don't want to put too much because you don't want it to get runny. And then slowly start mixing it on the lowest setting with your mixer, your hand mixer, so that you don't fling it out everywhere. And it takes a second, but then it'll start to combine and turn into your frosting. So you just sort of keep doing this, and then if you end up needing more strawberries to help it combine better, then you add a little bit more. It's important not to add too much at once, because you don't want runny frosting. You want it to be firm enough that you can ice your outside and the middle of your cake layers with it. So a little at a time, a little at a time, and it'll be fine. It's starting to mix together a little bit better now. And I might need just a tiny bit more juice. So I'm gonna put a little bit more juice in it. A tiny bit, go slowly with it. It's not going to hurt anything. Take your time to keep it from getting too runny. If you accidentally get too much in it, just add a little bit more powdered sugar to it to help thicken it back up a little bit. See how it's mixing together? That's pretty stiff. That's pretty much how I want it. I'm going to put just a tiny, 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 tiny bit more of my juice just so it's a little bit easier to spread it whenever I'm ready to put it on my cool cake. Alright. Alright, that's how you make the strawberry frosting. All done. So now I can just leave this to wait for my cakes to get done and to cool. And then once they're cooled, we'll frost them. So whenever we're ready for the next step, we'll be back. We'll see y'all then. All right, y'all, our cakes are done and they're cool. I went ahead and once it cooled, I bought, I frosted the bottom one so that I just have to do the top one now. I let them cool on this rack for about 30 minutes um, before turning them out of the pans. And now we're just gonna place it on top like so. 
and we'll start frosting it. And I put some on top first. And for this cake, you can do it in a nine by 13 pan. Um, you cook it for the same amount of time and then you just put icing across the top and you don't have to worry about the layer thing. I just like doing it this way sometimes um, to put it in my cake um, plate display because I just think that look, they look pretty like that. So, but like I say, you can do it in a nine by 13 if you just want to keep it in one of those kind of pans it's easier to ice it and all that stuff and you don't have to worry about trying to get it out and you can use this the cooking spray like the nonstick spray um, when you do it that way and just evenly spread it across your sides of your cake once you get the top done but like I say it is easy to do it the other way too this isn't hard it's just looks like you did a little bit more even though it's gonna taste the same either way with whether you do it in the nine by 13 or you do the tiered two layer cake like this. And you can always make up more frosting if you want to, if you make your own. Whereas if you buy the store bought one, you either gotta buy another one or just make do with what you got, depending on how much frosting you like on your cake. <clears throat> and you can smooth out the sides. I don't have one of those smoother thingies, I need to get me one, but it still looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna take the last little bit that I have left and just put it on top and make a thick layer on top. Like so. Spread that out. Just kind of doing figure eights just to make it look pretty. <coughs> pretty enough. Because we're going to cut it and eat it. So it doesn't have to be ordered. All right. Let's try some. Get a nice sharp knife out. All right. Here we go. I don't want too big of a piece. It's a little small. <clears throat> Look how good that looks. I think it's going to be good. Let's give it a try. Mm. So sweet, rich, yummy. It's perfect. If you like my video, on Easy Cake Saturday, making homemade strawberry cake with homemade frosting. Please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, turn on your notification bell so you'll get notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you guys for watching. Please go back and watch my other videos. We'll see y'all next time in Nini's Texas Kitchen.